Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video today I am going to show you guys how to recreate this look and it is a dramatic spring makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, again, like my last video, I uh, didn't show you my face makeup because I feel like it become boring after a while because I do the same thing with my face nearly every day. So I just mostly showed the eyes, highlight and lips and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I enjoyed filming it because it's a super fun look and has all the pretty spring colours in and without further ado, let's just get straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Starting off with primer, using my favourite primer, the MUA Pro Base Moisturising Primer and blending it out with my finger. Now using my favourite concealer, the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. I'm just going to apply that all over my lids. And I'm just going to blend it out with a concealer brush whilst carving under my eyebrows. Doing the exact same on the opposite eye. And blending it out with a damp micro sponge for a more mattified look. And so um, the sponge soaks up any excess. Locking it all in with my collection Primed and Ready Satin Powder in the shade 01. Always remember to tap off any excess on your brush, you don't want to be a cake face. Now the liner. I use the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liner in black. I love this liner because it works like a pen with its sharp tip. It is so easy to just glide on your eye. So today I decided on doing a small sharp wing for this look seeing as it is really dramatic with the eyeshadow. Time for eyeshadow, so beginning with my MUA Burning Embers palette, I am going to take the shade Match all over my base, and as you can tell this is just a white shade, so you can get this from pretty much any palette. So I'm just going to apply that with a flat brush for a more pigment. Now going in with my NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Peacock and applying a heavy layer to the start of my eye and blending out the edges with a flat brush.
Going in with the shade Candy Floss from Collection, which is a super pretty yet subtle on the outer corner of my eye with a slanted brush for more control. Going in with a deeper colour from the Burning Embers palette called Burn and going on top of the Candy Floss colour to enhance the pink more. And to make it even more dramatic, I'm going to take the shade Forever Young from the Kylie Jenner I Want It All palette. Going back in with the white we used at the start and using it just in between the blue and pink colours. For my under eyes I am using the Kiko Milano in the shade 64 which is a beautiful purple colour. And for a more shiny effect I am going to use my All Life Highlight palette and use the purple highlight called Delicious which is going to go on top of the Kiko shade. Going to curl my lashes. Using my 17 Backlash Mascara in black. I love this because the wand is thick and easy to apply the mascara with. If you have been a subscriber on my channel for a while now, you would know that I love going down my lashes for a bigger lash effect. It gives a more black effect and makes your lashes look longer, so I definitely recommend you doing this for yourself. Highlight time using these colours from the All Life palette on the high points of my face, shades Bon Bon, Hot Cocoa and Cocoa. I used a thick bristled brush for this as it applies more pigmented and easier. Using my Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave palette and using this white glittery shade for my inner corners which then causes a super dramatic effect to the highlight. Just using clear gel on my brows so they stay in place all day. Oh, and guys, if you make a mess with your mascara, don't stress, just get yourself a cotton bud and wipe it up when the mascara has dried. And a plus for this, it doesn't take off any of your makeup. For lips today, I am using the Revolution Lip Kit in the shade Rain. It is a pretty matte pink colour. So guys, that was the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it out for yourself. If you do, Post in the comments below because I'd love to see your own creations with this look. 
And if you have any questions or queries, comment below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe for my future videos. I post every Thursday, every week. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.